What's up, guys? Sure here. <clears throat> uh, I prepared a little video tonight for you. I uh, had a little time and felt like making a video. So, um, I got uh, I got my little thing in the mail. You guys know I've been collecting my Kenners. There's a nice little sheet of all license plates with only one missing. So I got that in today so that I can keep working on my Kenners. That's uh, the only thing that came in today that I wanted to show you. And uh, in, a, in a kind of a video response to Gogo, I know Gogo scored himself a letter getter today um, uh, um, on a trip to Pennsylvania. So, and I told you I'd show you Gogo. Here you go, buddy. Unpunched card, workhorses, wonder. And this one is a plastic base also, but and the and the blister's a little bit yellowed, but hey, I wanted to show it to you. So that, that's my wonder truck, uh, go go. And so what I got for you today, yeah, well I guess we're, while we're on the letter getters, here check this out. Bam, look at that. That's pretty sweet. My boy Matt gave me that FedEx truck. Super heavy casting. Matchbox. And he gave me this one too. Matchbox. Bam, look at that. Sweet. So, this is Matchbox's version of the uh, letter getter. So, anyway, that's what we're going to talk about today. Today, guys, we're going to talk about Matchbox. Because uh, I guess this kind of falls under, uh, you know, a what y'all collect video, but um, I'm not going to label it as that. I'm going to label it as showing some matchboxes. So, I mean, I, you know, I found some other random stuff that uh, you guys all have been showing. So, I figured I'd go through some of my older matchbox for y'all. And I'll start with the uh, box stuff first. Here's one for you. 2010. This is the old... Uh, what is this? 71 Vista Cruiser. Sorry about the glare. And look, the dogs are in the back. Pretty cool, right? Look at that. <clears throat> and I do got to rock and roll kind of fast, guys, because um, I got quite a few to show you. Here's another one, 2010. Ambulance. Look how detailed that sucker is. And yes, that's what I paid for it. Pretty awesome. Now these are the these are the matchbox with the cards on them. You know the the little cardboard box. Here's a pretty nice one. This uh, '63 Cadillac hearse. That is sweet. Pretty nice. Uh, it's got the whatever the hearse company is on the back. Yep, another dollar ninety nine. And you guys know I traded in my Honda Element. This is the only Honda Element I've ever found. This is from 2004. Matchbox actually makes mine. Mine was tan, it wasn't green, but it's the only copy I've ever been able to find. So, anyway. So, and now these Matchbox that I'm going to show you, I got I'm a few here and I got some carded ones. I'll just run through them. You guys have seen some of these. Still on card. This is uh, Model A. And all metal on metal. What year? What year? Where is that? Copyright 1990. Not too bad. Uh, I had a couple of these guys. And I believe they're both 94. Their version of the highway hauler. You know, of course I don't have all of them, but I would love to. This little batch here basically is what I'm showing you is work trucks. There is a new model look GMC record pretty nice and I believe it's a uh, it's metal body plastic base so pretty sweet how about a cable truck I think they're still producing this one you know the the camera pops up and the antenna spins around rock TV <laughs> that's pretty sweet and that's from uh, 93 pretty awesome all these came from that uh, that die cast store that I go to up the street from me <laughs> believe it or not I got most of all these for a dollar a hit 
Here's one from 93. This is a, you know, telephone truck. And believe it or not, the buckets do pop up on it. There's the card art. Pretty awesome. And a couple more work vehicles. This one's from a little bit newer. This one is 2004. Look at that sweet taxi. And it's one of the mystery boxes, you know, prize inside. Usually it's a tattoo or something goofy. I never... One of these days when I get another display, I'll open all my, my vintage matchbox because these guys always look better out of the package, you know. Here you go. Uh, new model, Crown Vic. Cop car. <whistles> Pretty nice. Oh, it's got... I don't know the glare will let me show it. Probably not. Come on, light. Cooperate with me. Pretty nice, huh? D55, or D22, sorry. Hmm. All right, and I got a couple of construction for you. Here is the excavator. Man, I've seen all these hanging on the pegs up at that place. I had to get them. That thing is sweet. Look at that. Bucket all moves on them. You know, Matchbox is notorious for having more, uh, you know, move, moving parts than, than Hot Wheels. Here's a bulldozer. Which, you know, the, uh, the blue carded bulldozers and stuff from back in the day in the 90s for Hot Wheels were, were the big deal. This one's got um, you know the rubber treads on it or whatever. Metal body, plastic base plastic uh, plastic bucket. Pretty cool. Uh, here's an older one for you K5. Um, still on the card. 1999 London bus. Minty Minty. And I don't know what's on the side of it. Oh, just a whole bunch of different, uh, you know, like Australia and the Leaning Tower, Pisa and whatnot. And believe it or not, there's the Concorde on the side of it, the jet that's been, you know, the transatlantic that's been uh, decommissioned since then. Um, here is two versions of the Matchbox School Bus. This one, Go Team Go on the side. Pretty awesome, right? And here's the regular. I love variations, you know what I mean? I always love seeing variations. You know, and uh, they got like, what are these, the old super fast wheels on them or whatever. And these guys are kind of heavy. Uh, they are plastic based though. Still super cool. Both number 47. Just two different years. Uh, what else I got out here? Ah, a couple of military vehicles. Here, this one's from 95, and I got one from 93. Top one, 95, bottom 93. The Weasel Tank. Super cool. See, moving parts on the card. I'm sure the turret goes around. That thing's pretty awesome. There's the base. Looks like it's got some black wall, like, you know, super fast wheels on it. And the Humvee. New model. 493 and look there's a nice big medical orange on there and you can tell the trunk opens now they just put out a five pack this year and the back of that Hummer opens also so pretty cool I keep in mind I got all these for a dollar now we'll get into some muscle cars this one is die cast metal plastic base where are we at? 1990. You know I like my Camaros. I rock, baby. And guess what? Opening hood. I think. Yep, opening hood. I rock Z on the top. Bears bear, there you got. Super cool. No painted. It could be painted red in the back. You know, one of these days. You know how nice that is. Um. And here's a Pooch Man favorite. He has a bunch of them, and I have one or two. I can't find my other one. 57 with a tilt hood. Oh, yeah. Comes in black, too. I've seen it in black. That's super awesome. And here's an older one. I had a couple of these when I was a kid. That's why I grabbed this one. Now, the blister's not good, and I believe this is a... Uh, this is still 1990. The Cosmic Blues. He's been around for a while. I had a bunch of different ones of these when I was a kid. I was super happy to find that, but you can see the blisters kind of beat up on it. So one of these days I'll pop him loose because that'll be awesome, minty, fresh, loose. 
Love me some cos com uh, cosmic blues. And now this thing came in a bunch of different uh, um, paint colors and tampos and everything. These are super cool. So that's the only one I could find up there. And here's another one, a 33 Ford Street Rod from, this one's a little bit newer, 97. Check that out. That is awesome. And look at the wheels on it. What is that, Goodyear's? Yeah, Goodyear Eagle, it says on them. That's super cool. You know, the blister's kind of beat up. One of these days, I'll set it free. Just because that thing's awesome. I keep an eye on my minutes here. All right, some 4x4s. <laughs> you guys know I'm a pizza guy. Bronco. Bronco 2. Pretty nice. Um, I got two different versions of this. One year, it's the Dunes Racer. One year, it's card number 13. And the next year, it's 76. So, pretty cool. Look, it's got the nice wheel on the back. They didn't chintz out on you back in the day. Super cool. This one has bats all over it. That's pretty awesome. And blood. Gotta love it. Red base. Pretty cool. Alright, a couple of uh, Jeeps. One is uh, marked as a military Jeep. This one is a Jeep Wrangler. Look at that. That's super cool. <laughs> love these little guys. Alright, and here's a Jeep 4x4. These are both from number 37. And I believe these are just color variations. Look, it's got the whip on it and the extra wheel. Super cool, right? What is that? Cool mud. Yeah. And here's the uh, color variation. And I believe the same year, 93. Still got the whip on it, the extra wheel. Jeep 4x4. And this one doesn't say anything on it, does it? Nope, just got some random, like, weird X's and stuff on it. I don't know much about that. Plastic base. Still got the push bar. Super cool. So, and last but not least, I want to show you these because these are kind of the pride of the fleet for me. Um, Jeff Hill showed one of these that he found some. This is the Rough Rabbit. And now this guy is from 83. There's the card art from 83, and it was marked $1.12 from Kmart. <laughs> I love me some rough rabbit at the top. You know what I mean? And the, and the card's alright. It's got some soft corners on it or whatnot, but that thing is awesome. And the next one I have for you, which I just got one of these from Steven, similar to it. It's the one I was talking about, Steven. This one is from 83 also. Check that out. What is that, Kenworth? What does it say? Yep. Kenworth COE Aerodyne. Super cool. Cab over. So that's pretty awesome. And um, Jeff Hill showed one of these, so I had to show mine. Matchbox Racing. Kind of their version of the, uh, you know, the breaker. Baja Breaker. This is the Matchbox version. All the same, 83. Super cool. One of these days, I you know, I don't know. I may let these guys go. It's got a wrinkled uh, card up top. But, well, you know, I didn't. I think I only paid like five bucks a hit for these. You know what I mean? They are in protectos. But who knows? Well, so that's what I had for you guys. You know, I, I got some new cool classics. I wasn't going to show them. You know, I got some other random stuff. But I really wanted to show you these old matches because, uh, you know, a lot of people show Matchbox, but they just show the new, mil you know, the new, um, dirt stuff you know like this kind of stuff and there's all you know older matchbox are awesome so definitely if you guys um go out hunting and flea market stuff check them out because older matchbox are really cool and you know i'm not a huge matchbox guy but I, you know i like the older stuff so that's what i got for you now <clears throat> my little short video talk to you guys later see it